guys, what's going on? Moto Steve here, just down at the waterfront. It's evening time. Got a half pint now. Got the lights on her. Don't know how well you can see that, but got the LEDs on her. Got the LEDs up front too. Lighten up the inside there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Just on my way home. Heading back home. Beautiful waterfront night. It's absolutely gorgeous. Everyone's out hanging out. And I'm off to go home now. Nice ride home. Beautiful, beautiful night. So amazing. I love it so much. People waiting to get into the bar. Or they already been to the bar and they're heading back. I don't know if you can see that hot rod. It's beautiful hot rod right there. Nice little hot rod cruiser. Probably back in the 30s. Yeah, so just on my way home, nothing super special. Night ride. I was out pretty well the whole night riding around. Went and talked to a friend of mine and yes, he did buy a Harley Davidson. Good for him. He's a good guy. He had a 1100 V Star, and he wanted to move up because he does long rides and uh, doesn't have the, you know, the plastic luggage carriers and everything. He had to throw it all on uh, saddlebags and everything, and now he's got the plastic ones that come with the Harley Davidson and the back part too, where the backrest is and. All sorts of little compartments on that Harley Davidson, so good for him. Good for you, Georgie. Yeah, so just on my way home. Nice, nice bike night. I don't know how well the camera's picking this up, but just beautiful. I love you, Detroit. Love you, Eminem. Love you, Kid Rock. Yeah. Kid Rock does about eight shows a year. Over at the DT Energy, that's Detroit Energy, uh, basically complex there. He does eight shows a year there, and each show is 20 bucks. Everyone, general admission, just come in and party. And how cool is that? Go see Kid Rock for 20 bucks, and he does it every year. And every year on the eight shows, he completely sells out. If you don't have your tickets by the time they go on sale, forget about it. They're all sold out. You can't get in. And everyone over in Michigan loves Kid Rock, man. He's still rocking it out, man. Good for him. Good for Kid Rock. But yeah, just on my way home, awesome, awesome night of riding. Like I said, Gio bought his Harley. Good for him great guy he's gonna love it he's gonna do some mega rides with it he actually uh, said to me if uh, they're supposed to deliver it tomorrow and if they do he's gonna give me a call up and I'm gonna take the Stacy the VTX and uh, I'm gonna go meet him we're gonna go for a quick little ride just whip around maybe I'll videotape it videotape it maybe I'll record it I am talking like an old man now. Videotape it. <laughs> Get a big shoulder mount. VCR takes the full size VHS tapes. <laughs> Tape it to my side of my helmet. Alright, good to go. I didn't know why I didn't think of that back when I got mine. Like in the... Like 88. Because I had a female passenger and she could have done the videotaping. And could have just done so much. Like so many vlogging before it was even, you know, a thing. Would have been cool. 
But yeah, just on my way home. Beautiful, beautiful night. Oh my god, it's about probably, I'd say 70s, no humidity, slight breeze. Just fantastic. Just fantastic to ride. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see them. Got the LEDs on in the front and in the back. It's cruising home. That's about it. Nothing super exciting going on. Just another night ride with Moto Steve. Some guys to just do uh, all daytime vlogs. I'll do them whenever I can. Like I said, gotta stockpile them up for the winter time because you know this is not gonna last forever. And as, as much as it breaks my heart, breaks my bike's hearts, we'll actually be taking the bikes out to Jackson, Michigan for. Uh, where they're going to be staying all winter, get them all winterized and tarped up in the garage. I'm going to work on them a little bit. Half Pint needs a couple things done to her, so we're going to do that during the winter time. Yeah, and that's about it. Nothing super new and exciting, just uh, cruising down. Heading home, as I said. Fantastic ride. Big Peace Fountain over there, they call it the Peace Fountain. And that is an actual island over there, if you can see. That's where they have the, the Michigan uh, Indy races, I guess you'd call them. That, uh, that's pretty cool. They actually race right on the road there. Sort of like uh, the Molson Indy in Toronto. The Detroit Indy, I guess you'd call it. It's pretty cool. So I'm just heading home. That's about oh, nice pickup truck. Nice little shot of the water there, all calm. Yeah, so that's about it. Nothing super new and exciting. Like I said, night ride, just heading home. Thought I would do some recording. Got the camera on, you might as well. Just purring now. Purring. She loves the nighttime. She loves the nighttime. All cool. No heat on her, slight breeze. She's a happy camper. She's a happy camper, I tell you. Yeah, that's about it. Nothing too crazy going on. Just heading home. Very shady tattoo uh, shop right there. I don't know if I'd get ink there, I'm just saying. I don't know if I've ever actually checked them up online to see uh, what kind of uh, reviews they get. But yeah, that's about it. The half pint's running just superb. I don't know if you guys can tell, but she, I plastic dipped her black. She was a red, white, and blue when the tank actually uh, got a leak in it. it. Still has a tiny leak in it, but I had to have the the bike coated and everything inside the tank there so it wouldn't rust out anymore. And uh, when they did, they had to bake the bake the stuff onto the inside of the tank and. Uh, gonna let you go but yeah they had to uh, bake the stuff inside so when they did that all the paint basically burnt off in the process so I was handed back a gray primer tank and uh, knew she had to have a paint job so she's actually been a couple colors she was uh She was orange for a few years, and then I went to a red and black, like a CBR style. 
and then uh, and then she got the flat black last year from uh, the Plasti Dip, and she looks pretty now. She's a pretty little black, and the red, the red with the the black Plasti Dip just kind of it just bam, bam. But anyways, guys, uh, this is Moto Steve. Thanks for watching the video. Give it a like if you do, and give it a comment. And if you haven't already been a subscriber, and hit that subscribe button. It's free. YouTube made it free, and then all it does is notify you when I have a new video up. And uh, it lets uh, YouTube notify that you're watching my video. So much appreciated if you subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is Moto Steve, and I am out.